Hello everybody, my name is Zach, and today I'm going to go over how to clean up and speed up your Windows 8 computer. I'm going to go over some regular maintenance and security tasks that pretty much anyone can do and it's not too complicated, not too advanced. So uh, let's get started. First thing I'm going to go over is going to be disk cleanup. It's actually a utility that comes on your computer from the start. And to get to it, you can actually go right here to your home icon, click on that. And you're going to go to My Computer. It's different depending on which Windows 8 version you have. I'm actually running Pokey, which is a separate uh, browser. It's kind of like a separate start menu. Uh, depending on your computer, though, I mean, you just go to My Computer, though. So we're going to open that up. And the first thing you're going to see is uh, this page here. And you're going to go right to your C drive, which is going to be your main drive. It should say Windows 8 on it. And you're going to right click on that. And you're going to go right down to Properties here. All right, it's going to open up this window here, and what you're going to do from here is you're going to look, it's going to say Drive C, and there'll be a little button here that says Disk Cleanup, so click on that. And it's going to take a minute to do it. Oh, depending on how often you do it, it's going to, it might take a little bit longer or a little less time. Uh, so these are the options I have checked here. Um, I usually go ahead and check Temporary Files and Recycle Bin. As you can see, I have none in either, but I usually check those because I, I do this pretty often, but normally you would have some there, so check those. You can also do cleanup system files. I don't normally do this, nor do I really recommend it unless you know what you're doing. So for the purpose of this video, we're not going to do that. Alright, so you're going to hit OK here. And then you're going to hit Delete Files here. And you're going to let us run its thing. Alright, so we did the disk cleanup. It's all done now. So next step is going to be to go over to hard drive here. It's going to either say optimize or defragment. Um, they kind of put them both together in Windows 8. It used to be just defragment. So you're going to click on that. And the first drive listed is going to be your Windows 8 drive, which is going to be your C drive. Uh, as you can see, mine was last run about a week ago. And my drive status is 0% fragmented. Don't worry about your other drives. It's not going to really matter. Um, and my computer actually have several hard drives. Uh, you want to just worry about your C drive. Right now though, I'm at 0% fragmented, so there's no point of me doing it. If you look down here, scheduled optimization is actually on. What they did in Windows 8 is they did an automatic maintenance thing. So it's basically set up to do it around weekly or daily for some tasks, where if you're not doing anything on your computer and your computer is just running, it'll start to defragment your hard drive, it'll clean up some files, it does a whole bunch of stuff in the background now. Um, so this should be fine for the most part, but for some users, depending on when you have it scheduled, sometimes it's at a random hour of the day, and if you don't turn your computer on very often, or you only have it on for an hour or two at a time, then it might never get done, so you want to do this. Uh, the best way to check is if you click on your C drive here, you can go to Analyze, and that's going to check how fragmented it is. So you can click on that and it'll run its thing and it'll tell you, oh, it's 5% fragmented or 10%. I usually recommend anything over 5% fragmented to, to go ahead and defragment. Uh, if it's anything less than 5%, I would just leave it because it's not going to make much of a difference. Um, so if it did say 5 or 10%, you can always go to optimize here and it'll run that. Depending on how fragmented it is and how slow or fast your hard drive is, it can take a couple hours, it can take a few minutes, it depends. Usually if it's 5% or above, it's going to take around half an hour to an hour. It just depends, though. So we're going to close out of this. Like I said, you can go right here and optimize it if you need to. Otherwise, we're going to move on to the next step. Alright, the next thing we're going to go over is going to be an application called CCleaner. I'm going to put a link in the description. Right here, I have it in my utilities folder on my desktop. So it's going to be this one here. So I'm going to double click and open that. Alright, so here's CCleaner. Uh, what we're going to be using is the cleaner utility, which is automatically selected. For the purpose of this video as well, since we're not going to get too complicated, we're just going to leave it on all the default settings. So if you want to look here, you can pause the video if you need to. These are all the defaults though. Um, your applications tab is going to be different for every person, depending on what you have installed. Uh, so you can see applications I have GIMP, Handbrake, so those are just some applications that I installed personally. Um, so yeah, just leave those as regular, and what you're going to do is you're going to click Analyze here. And what that's going to do is it's going to check what you can delete, 
But for most users, it's going to be a lot bigger than 20 megabytes if you haven't done it ever before. Uh, so what you're going to do here is now you're going to hit Run Cleaner. And then it's going to ask you this. You can hit OK. Again with this, depending on how much stuff you have to clean, it may take longer. And you can always go ahead and check more of these options here. Um, but for the purpose of this video, like I said, I'm just going to leave this stuff on default. And you can go ahead and do it if you'd like. Or if you're a more advanced user, you can go ahead and do it as well. I right, so have registry here. I don't personally recommend ever doing anything with the registry unless you really know what you're doing. Because you can screw some stuff up. Um, and honestly, it doesn't make that much of a performance issue at all. So I wouldn't even bother with it. Uh, there's also some other tools, useful ones, as in an uninstall and a startup. So if there's some programs you can get rid of to clear up space, you can uninstall them there. And if there's some stuff you don't need running on startup, you can always remove that and your computer will start up a little bit faster. Uh, let's actually do the Windows Update first. So if you want to go to your Start menu and type in Windows Update. Right, so you're going to be right here, it's going to be under Control Panel, Windows Update. Alright, so what we're going to do here is it's going to show you updates. I click check for updates here just to check if there's anything you've missed since the last time your computer's checked for updates. Again, this is another thing that your computer automatically does, but you want to just check anyway. Uh, so you can see here I have a couple optional. Optional is completely up to you if you want to download them. I personally don't want the Bing Bar or Bing Desktop. They're just Microsoft search add-ons that you don't really need. Uh, but a lot of times there's security updates and just general updates for Windows 8. So you want to get those. And how you do that is you're going to check them here. So if I go here and check that, it'll say install. So you can check whatever you want. Usually the usually the um, important updates will be automatically checked. So you'll just have, it hit, have to hit install and you'll be all set. And so next thing we're going to go over is a security program that Microsoft put in to Windows 8 by default called Windows Defender. So if you want to type that in. Alright, so this program here, this used to be called Microsoft Security Essentials. In Windows 8, they merged it with Defender, which was their firewall, and they made it one big program. Personally, I recommend for most users that you can just use this. You don't need to use any third-party security, unless you think you're visiting sites or using the internet enough that you think you're not as protected. It's really up to you. Personally, for me though, I found this to be perfect and I never had any issues with it. You can go here again and update. You can click update and it'll check for an update. It also runs its updates through Windows Update, the program we were just using. So that's another plus there, it'll always be updated. And here you can go to a, do a quick scan, a full scan, or a custom scan, so if you wanted to scan a certain folder. And then you can hit scan. You want to run those probably every other day or every week. Just depends. So we'll close out of that. And the last thing I want to go over is back in the utilities folder here. I have another program called Malwarebytes. Right, so I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to hit yes. Uh, this is a free program. It's a malware program. I like to have this for added protection. I'll also put a link in the description for this as well. Um, what you're going to want to do is database version here. It'll tell you which one's the newest and it'll be a green check if you have the newest version and a red X like this. If you don't, uh, you can hit update now and it'll check for updates automatically. I have the free version, which means it's not going to be running all the time if you look at real time perfection here. That's because I already have micro or Windows Defender, so I don't really need it to be running all the time. And what you can do here is scan here and it'll check for malware. I find that with Windows Defender and malware bytes, it's a really good combination and had no issues with any viruses or malware. Um, if I did, it caught it right away and I was fine. So for most users, like I said, it's perfectly fine to get those two and be fine. If you want to get something like Norton or McAfee, that's completely up to you. I don't personally recommend it, but if you feel like you're at risk, you can go ahead and do that as well. That's going to wrap up this video. It was just some basic maintenance tasks. Uh, most of these are actually done in the background, like I said, with Windows 8 automatic maintenance. But for whatever reason, if you're having a slow computer or having issues with it, if you follow these tasks for the most part, it should fix some of those issues. So thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment or anything in the description below if you have any questions or you want 
another video with uh, certain things answered in it, go ahead and leave a comment down there. I'll be sure to get back to you. And thanks for watching. Bye.